Well, a very good evening to each and every one of you joining me. Ms. Belinda Scandal here for this week's Your Manchester. I am flying solo as our Michelle has gone watching a musical called Everybody's Talking About Jamie down in London. She's checking out. It's going to be on tour and we are going to be, over the next few weeks, getting some proper good exclusives. On today's show, we are talking Alzheimer's with Alzheimer's Research, everybody. We're also talking to a wonderful guy about integrity, wills and probate. And if that's not enough, we have also got a special exclusive from Junior Giscombe bringing you a brand new song. Yes, the Junior Giscombe coming your way very, very soon, only on your Manchester. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you click on the dingle dongle. Our first guest is here today telling us about the wonderful, wonderful charity that is Alzheimer's Research UK. Now, um, Alzheimer's is, of course, very prevalent in all our minds at the moment. And with that in mind, how are you, Mr. McDermott? Yeah, I'm all right, yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, I think, yeah. You're looking rather marvellous. <laughs> Thanks. This is such a powerful and important message that you're trying to get out there. Why do you think it's become so much more important over the past few years? Well, I think there's more people with, well, there's more people caring for people with Alzheimer's, really. And there's a massive increase in people who've, who've got it and living with it. And also, I think it's people going out there and actually talking about it and what their family's gone through. I think years ago, people just kept it, they were ashamed of it, about people with dementia and everything. So we just kept it in the way. But people are, people are getting the confidence to go out and speak about it, really. I mean, my dad's got dementia, so this, the whole reason why I've got into Alzheimer's research because I'm really passionate about, well, I know what it's like to go care for somebody. And what is it your charity actually does then? So Alzheimer's Research UK, we kind of um, basically just fund research into Alzheimer's disease and all the other dementias as well. So, I mean, dementia is like the umbrella term and there's so many different types of dementias, but we purely fund at, um, scientific research. We don't do any care side, that's Alzheimer's Society. Mm -hmm. We're 100% research really. And we, we fund researchers in Manchester as well, so. So when you say research, what research are you actually looking into at the moment then? Well, just basically what's causing it. I mean, there's, there's a million different ways, well, theories of what, was, what is causing dementia in this. I mean, one of the things Alzheimer's, that, well, initially when, when, when people looked at Alzheimer's, it was the plaques in the brain, and it kind of like blocked the communication between the different brain cells. Mm. But there's a theory now that that's a symptom of the disease. So we're trying to work out why, what, what's creating dementia, and why, why, why it's affecting some people and not others and every, everything like that. It's amazing that you do do a lot of um, collecting and charity work yeah. to make this people fully aware of this wonderful charity. Yeah. What is it you're currently doing at the moment then? Well, it's, I mean, it's basically um, Canal Street. So yeah. the, all the drag queens down Canal Street, they've done Drag Down Dementia, which is basically they've been out and just started collect asking people for money, really, yeah. which is fantastic. Because it's, I mean, that's been a massive thing for us because it's like, it's reaching out to like different communities who are going through it, you know? I mean, like, like I say, dementia touches everybody. And to have like the gay community on board and like, especially the drag community, you know, it's it's, They've raised so much money it's, and awareness, it's brilliant. How really. much have they raised so far then? So, so far we've raised 2,000 and that was just in, for one weekend from World Alzheimer's Day. And yeah. they did a, a night as well, we did a, um, a, a, a drag night, didn't they? Yes. So it was, right. you know, it was just, and that was just organising four days and the, all the, the Queens have been completely behind it. What, it what do you think is the initial and final outcome of sorting out this, this strange and weird disease? Well, the only thing we can do is scientific research, you know, mm -hmm. that's the only way we can beat it. I mean, like I say, in, for my, my dad's got dementia and I know yeah. what, what it's like for a family to go through that. And it was last year and I saw dad decline quite significantly. And for me, it was, I was so passionate. I thought there's something that's creating this. There's something out there. What, we don't know what it is, but why is it, it's, there must be some reason why it's affecting some people, not the others. And the only reason we can find, the only way we'll find this out is through scientific research. So that's why I got on board with like fundraising. And really. it doesn't just affect the person that's suffering with the disease, does it? No, not at all. I mean, like, well, it does, but it, it's a whole family around, it's the people around them as well. I mean, there's 850,000 people that have got dementia in the UK, but that's, I always say, you've got to like multiply that by four or five because it affects the families, you know, and people who care for them. It's massive, you know, and like a lot of people go through it in silence. And I think the more people talk about it and talk about what their family's going through and then get out and start fundraising, I really, passionate believe we'll find, be able to find a cure one day. Excellent. Well, so, thank you very much for coming in today. It's thank right. you. It's fantastic. Sorry. Now, what we have been also doing this week, though, is we have been talking to some major celebrities that you might know from a movie called Back to the Future. The musical is about to come our way here, exclusive in Manchester. And because of that, we are going to be looking into the world of Back to the Future right now. So let's have a little look at this BT as we go in our DeLorean back to the future. Christopher, Roger, oh my God, great Scott. It's just fantastic to see you both here. It's 
two dogs in the same room. What can I say? <laughs> How does it feel to see Back to the Future now become a musical, Christopher? I just love it. I love it. So we started thinking about the idea of doing it as a musical way back in 2004. <clears throat> and it took a really long time to first get uh, the right person interested, who turned out to be Colin Ingram, and then to find the right... Um, we always knew it was going to be Alan Silvestri and Glenn Ballard, because Bob Zemeckis had had such a good time working with Glenn on, on Polar Express, and of course we both knew that you know, there was no better person to do Back to the Future music than Alan Silvestri. So I'm here. Mm. I'm with Ollie. You play Marty McFly. That is one hell of a role to take on in this musical. Do you feel scared? Mm -hmm. I don't feel scared. I think I will forever be feeling thrilled to be here. And I just think that's going to completely overlap every emotion that I'm ever going to be feeling when going on and before going on and after coming off. You know, I yeah, there's pressure. Yeah, I can be scared, but I'm so thrilled to be here. Like, I, I can't believe that it's happening. And for me it's a dream come true, so yeah, bring it on. We had to cast this, m many of the parts uh, from videotapes. The casting director was over here in London. John Rando, the director, was in New York. Uh, Glenn Ballard and I were in Los Angeles. Alan Sylvester was in Northern California. And, uh, and Bob Zemeckis too. And so we were all looking at these tapes and uh, almost unanimously in every case we all looked at and, and felt the same way about yeah it's got to be this person it's got to be that person you've got you know, big shoes big shoes to fill yeah, yeah and <laughs> you may well get very rich no. from this the film <laughs> the billions of pounds of franchise right right right, right. um were you a big fan of the movie yeah. oh my gosh of course yeah no there was there was a whole there's a slew of movies i think of that era that for a person, I guess I was, uh, well, let's just say old enough, um, but the, where the lead characters were people that were, were young men that I completely related to. It was, if it wasn't uh, um, uh, uh, Marty McFly, it was the, the kid in Karate Kid, it was Ralph Macchio, you know. They, there were many movies at that time where I felt like they, uh, the, the, these young heroes that I could so relate to when I watched it. And you can see it with, um, with Ollie Dobson, who's playing... Um, Marty, that you can tell how he connected to it as well. So, yeah, I loved the, the movie. Did you ever think, though, back then, that it was going to last this long, you know, let alone, you know, the first movie, the second movie, the third movie, and now the musical, yeah? Didn't have a clue. I didn't. Uh, it, just, it just keeps rolling along, and now we're taking a new road. <laughs> Fantastic. Moving on now to our next guest, and we are talking about perhaps a slightly serious subject, but a fantastic company that can deal with that subject. How are you? Welcome all the way from Integrity Wills and Probate. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's, well, it's wonderful, isn't it, that people are talking about this and doing things about it these days? Well, we found now, more recently, the way televisions advertise and different funeral plans, etc., that people now are becoming more aware mm -hmm. of making wills, dealing with power of attorneys, and obviously funeral plans. And why is it so important that people do make sure they've got a will, make sure they've got a funeral plan in place? If you don't make a will, there is no way that your intentions have been specified. By doing a will, you can outline what you want, where the, how you want your house, for example, do you want it to go to your husband, do you want it to go to your children? Uh, with funeral plans, it's a prepaid thing where you pay and all the funeral arrangements are taken place, and then we deal with pretty much more 
recently is power of attorneys. A power of attorney is an instrument which allows you to nominate a ben somebody who is going to look after your wishes as you intended, and that's either in financial reasons or for medical reasons. And if people don't have a will in place, of course, what happens then? If you don't have a will in place, then there's a different there's a law, it's called intestacy rules. It doesn't mean the family members can automatically inherit whatever the family belongings yeah. are. So what would, you, what would you suggest then is, is most important when you're putting a will together? Do you go to a professional company or is it something you can do yourself? It's, people can do their own will, but if they don't do it correctly, then the courts may not accept that as being a properly drawn will. We're a professional company, we do things in the manner, we explain to people everything about the will, what it entails, and we ensure that the will is drawn up correctly for them. That's excellent. And what made you want to get into this particular line of work? I've been in legal practice for over 25 years. I came out of legal practice and then we set up the company with my business partner, Mark, and we decided this is something we should do. Ideally, it was to make people aware of what they are into, or they should do for themselves and for their family members. Okay, so your company, how would people get hold of you if they wanted to depart? We have, company? we we have our, can get us on the internet, which mm -hmm. is in uk. We're on Facebook, we're on LinkedIn, we're on all the social media platforms and we're obviously on telephone. We've got to know a lot of people, we've, we've been very, very successful in what we've done. The main part of our company is integrity in its name is we actually go out and help people. We'll come and see you. We'll sit down with you, your partner, and we'll say to you, and this is what we do. People like that. I think a person touch is always the better way, isn't it? Absolutely. It's more comfortable. It's in their home. They have control over everything they want yeah. to say and do. We just outline to them, this is what you can do. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Right then, it is now time to wander over to our sponsors, everybody. And straight after this, we're going to be bringing it on to our couch or somebody you might just recognise. In the meantime, here's a quick word from our sponsors. Well, we are now bringing onto our couch one very fantastic person that you may just, maybe just recognise everybody. He had a string of hits, years and years upon years upon years upon years upon years, a string of hits, and he is back. Everybody, it's our Judy Go, How are you doing? I'm very well, but how are you? It's absolutely fantastic to see you. Thank you. You're bringing us a brand new song. Brand new song. Tell us about this wonderful new music. It's uh, uh, about freedom when uh, the place where you you can be free of doing what you want what you love what you like what you're passionate of and uh, uh, why i asked the uh, junior uh, to join uh, i think it's a very good uh, combina combination with uh, art and music and um, uh, this song is actually also about us as well. Junior, he passion of his music. I, I, I'm passion of my art, and I thought that's great. It, it should work, and it work. It, it does work. It does our viewers work. haven't seen this yet, but it is something worth waiting around to the end of the program for. It's a different sound for you. Very much so. I had uh, 
started out this year mm -hmm. doing, um, well, from last year, doing a reggae album of songs of mine, which was uh, hit records, and I just wanted to do them in reggae. So I went to Jamaica, mm -hmm. got together with various different Jamaican artists and English artists, and decided to put the project together. And in so doing, the first single was Mama Used to Say, which I did with uh, Luciano yep. and also with Stephen Marley. A friend of mine introduced me to Natalia, and Natalia did some wonderful paintings for the, the video, and the video came out in February and was doing, well, it's doing very well. Mm. Natalia then turned around and told me the concept of this particular project where it was going to be more like a team effort. So you have Chris and Rob involved who are doing editing and they do the actual recording of the, the whole thing, the video, the video of the whole thing. And my thing was to come up with music and come up with lyrics that would portray people breaking away. I, like yourself, you, you know that you want to be and you want to do. But sometimes because of the kind of environments that we all live in, we become constraints. So what we do is we just go along with the norm. But deep inside, you know that this is what I want to do. And the whole thing about breaking away is being able to do that, not sit within the confines of somebody saying, you can't do that, you know. I think it's fantastic. Let's have a look at the video Definitely. and then we'll talk some more. Let's have a look at this fantastic video. It goes just a little bit like this. Beauty of 
Now you understand what we're talking about. It isn't just a music video, it's a very artistic form, isn't it? Very artistic form. I think it's something that's fresh and new, because a lot of the time you, you watch, as you know, you, the, the videos come out through various different artists and stuff like this, and then they do it with, say, an artist or whatever yeah. else, and you can see that the two don't truly marry. It's like the song's one thing and the art's another. Whereas with this project, because it's like a team effort, it's more about ensuring that all parts work together, mm -hmm. right? So that then you, you're giving one vision to people over the whole thing with an emphasis, as I said, of being free enough to break away from whatever you're in that you know within yourself you shouldn't be in. No, and you're looking very gorgeous and glamorous. Mm -hmm. Very gorgeous and glamorous throughout the whole thing. Where was it filmed? <laughs> Oh, that was the, down to these guys over there. Like, you can't see them, you can't see them. <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was done in Manchester. But um, the guys over there, they could tell you where exactly, because mm -hmm. I was terrible. I, my part was done in the back of somebody's hotel. Right. And it was a room. And they made up the room like if it was a prison. Right. And Rob and Chris had edited and, and, and you know, did all the photography for it. It was just blinding. It is blind. Yeah, blinding. it's really very, very it's good. Yeah. But so, are you doing something again together then, do you think? Oh, we may have some Ooh, ideas. We may have some ideas. Mm -hmm. It's really nice uh, to work with Junior. It's so easy. It's my, it was my pleasure to work with him. Where can people get this song? At the present moment, what we're going to be doing is putting, up, putting it up on social media and just getting a vibe for it and uh -huh. let's see how many people are going to go for this kind of thing. And then afterwards, I have my own label. Yeah. So the track will most probably come out on my own label. Right, um, maybe in a month's time, once we've put it out on social media, got people involved in it and what you need to do. It's been fascinating speaking to both of you. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. in Thank today. You. Thank you. Well, that's unfortunately all we've got time for on this week's episode of Your Manchester. Make sure you click on the dingle dongle and make sure you all subscribe. And we'll see you all again next week, only on Your Manchester. Your Manchester.